So this is as good a place as any, I suppose. Um, do I really not even have that? Yeah, okay, well, that's fine. I'll just go take a look at these items, I guess. I don't even have any of the uncommon. Oh no, these are the uncommon. Harvesting, right? Um, I've had a couple people asking me uh, where the best place to farm sky seeds and like dew drops are, because um, you're gonna need a ton of them. We're gonna need a bunch of these items here. Get out of here! Stupid! I hate it when it does this. Uh, so we're gonna need a lot of sky dew, a lot of sky seeds, um, as well as. Glinting ore, glinting wood, these are the uncommon trees and the uncommon ore deposits. So I'm going to try and just do a quick little speed run through the area to show yes. where everything is. We're going to start off down to the right here. Uh, this is where the very first um, uncommon tree is on the very um, rightmost side of the map, or I guess depending on how you're looking at the orientation of the map. Um, we'll say the northmost node um, in the starting area right here. So this is an uncommon tree. So it's going to give us uncommon items. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. There we go. See, I call these silver trees because they are uh, basically gray and the rare trees look gold. But these are the uncommon trees. They give you glinting wood. Um, SO dust, <clears throat> as well as the, um, <clears throat> so yeah, SO dust, glinting wood, and then they also have granted us some sky dew. Um, the, they will also grant sky seeds, but we're just going to go through here. So we started here. That was our first uncommon node you'll want to get all the common trees and stuff as well because you're going to need those common resources to craft a bunch of items but then hiding right here we have our first uncommon ore this glinting ore node boom i'm sorry my character is low level i already did everything on my main today but so glinting ore so does sky do sog and now we're going to swing down here and head on over to this main island area. It's just this little outcropping. And there's going to be some more rare or uncommon nodes here. Um, <clears throat> so this is a common ore drop. There's an uncommon tree that you'll get. Then you'll swing right here to get this uncommon ore. And then we're going to come straight through this area over here to the other side of these rocks. And there's going to be another uncommon tree right here. So we'll get that. You'll slice that down. And we'll head over into this zone over here. Just because we're going to work our way across the entire area. So you can see where we are on the map now compared to where we started. We started up here and we just followed the water line down like this. And now we're down to right here. <clears throat> there is another uncommon tree somewhere around here. This is one of my favorite floating trees. It doesn't quite line up. It's just a common one, but also grab any chests that you'll see along the way. We can also get dew drops from these. The sky dew can come out of this as well as the SO dust. 
Yeah, that was a bunch of acid dust. And constructor nuggets. They're my favorite because they're fun to say. Alright. But now we're going to head further down this direction. We're heading south. I use the grappling hook because it's a little bit faster. If I do it correctly. Um, but we're we're really just going to this area right here. Because there's a lot of trees that spawn. So there's an uncommon tree spawn that'll be right here. It's surrounded by a bunch of common trees. This is the fastest place to farm wood. Um, but obviously you can only grit each node once per day. They're only going to respawn one time. So we have that uncommon tree right here. And then we're going to jump over onto this rock right here into this back side of this camp. And this is where the last set of uncommon stuff is going to be on this part of the map. We've got an uncommon ore here, and then we have an uncommon ore right there, and an uncommon tree here. Then circling back around along the face of the rocks right here, we're just going to hide right behind this guy so we don't get his attention. And we're going to have two more uncommon trees. One right here, and one right there. We're going to swing around the back side of here, just so we can get this chest really quick. <laughs> yeah, come on. Give me the thing. We'll grab this. And we're going to sprint past over to here. There's an regular common rock right here but there's an uncommon one right over here right there there's also depending on um how good your visual settings are one of the new dro teardrops is right up here and it's kind of hard to see oh sorry i forgot i'm not on my character i can't just jump forever oh come here We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. We go. All right. So, um, for some reason, this specific new teardrop is kind of bugged out. Um, the whatever the shaders don't work on it, so it only actually shows up on one of my eyes. I don't know if you guys can even see it. You might just see a little like shining thing. So I'll grab this right here since I'm happy to be right here, and I'll just collect this because I'm gonna need it. You guys should grab it as well. It's hard to see, but yeah. Um, and so that's pretty much all of the uncommon stuff just down in the starting zone right here. Um, I might have missed one or two, um, but honestly, I think that's plenty. Um, you're going to want to cycle around the entire zone every single day um, just to grab everything. Um, you want to do this event over that here? That is all the uncommon stuff. So, sorry, man, I'm in the middle of making a video. Oh, sorry. It's all good. Um, but next we're going to jump up to the next fast travel. You'll unlock this, uh, just after a short quest chain. It's probably only going to take you maybe an hour or two if you're really just kind of casual. <clears throat> but this is just to get us into a, the next zone. This is the top, the upper level. Um, boy, there's not a really effective way to show where everything is here. But essentially there is hidden nodes everywhere um we'll just drop down right here and we'll scan around this area uh i don't think this is no this is an actual event over here this is where i wanted to be um so this is a common tree but this this is a rare tree this is what i call golden trees and there's also golden ore here as well um so i'll grab these real quick just so you can see what these look like Maybe. There we go. Mm hmm. So this is called <clears throat> a sparkling ore deposit. And then this is a sparkling tree. And so these are what these look like. Uh, they're great. They will give the same amount of resources as the um, uncommon, except for they give you sky seeds instead of sky dew. So you're going to want to get all of these every day. Um, next up, we're going to swing into this um, encampment. 
because there's another golden tree over here. There might be a golden rock. I can't remember. Um, but we're just going to go right by. I flew right by it. it. It spawned in late. Here it is. This is another sparkling tree that we'll grab real quick. So there we got that. And then, yes, there is. There's another sparkling ore deposit way in the back on the edge of the map. So just so you guys are aware of where I am, because I just picked up a bunch of stuff, uh, I am on the northmost side of the map, and I'm just right here. This encampment is where I picked up the tree, and then the ore deposit is back here. Likewise, I also grabbed those special tree and the other ore right around here. <clears throat> uh, next, I'm going to jump up this way. Because uh, we're heading over there, and I don't have the actual stamina to just fly over, so unfortunately I'm going to have to go around. But if you have a full maxed out character, you could probably fly over there from one side to the other. Um, right here should be good. This is another spot where there is a sparkling ore. Why can't I climb? Oh my goodness. So this is right where I am right here. There's another nice sparkling ore right there that you can grab. So every single one of these deposits, the ores and the uh, sparkling trees are giving you a free sky seed. So every single one of them on the map, you want to be grabbing every single day. Uh, just to help you build up your, um, your stock of these r uncommon and rare items a little bit faster than being forced to do the quests and only the quests and all the, um, the events. Unfortunately, I have not unlocked the um, the grappling hook nodes for this part of the map yet because I haven't done these quests. So I might not be able to get back over there. But I'm going to swing over this way, head up here. You'll see a bunch of different cool-looking enemies right there. I'm going to ignore them because they are a bit out of my uh, depth. Only level 11, and I think I have like level 8 gear on. But here is another spot sparkling ore node right here and a sparkling tree right there and this is where we are on the map now we're just hanging out under the or well directly north of this bridge <clears throat> next i'm gonna head back over to this side this like weird um altar type area on the other side of this cliff uh, for my very favorite tree on the map um, leaps and bounds above everything else my favorite sparkling tree the helium tree this is the only tree in the map that you actually have to jump and swing at to get it I personally think this is a lot of fun I know that the ramen is probably gonna patch this um, to actually be on the ground at some point but until they do this is my very favorite tree so I honestly hope that they don't I like that it's up in the air <laughs> it's pretty hard to hit especially when I'm getting harried by uh, an enemy that's five levels above me but there we go we finally got it and there it is oh man that thing really swung around there that was interesting uh, there's one more normal tree right here that does that as well, but my favorite will always be the golden one. And then there's just a common ore deposit right there. Um, but so, in case you haven't really figured out the way this is all breaking down, uh, I'm going to show you as soon as I get to safety here. I need to climb up this rock because that guy's still kind of chasing me. I don't have any stamina... And they made it harder to climb up rocks with this update, so that's cool. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? What the hell was that? Oh. I don't even know if I can get to safety. Yeah, so I'm just going to climb to this common ore deposit. If I can, I'm, I'm glitching through the map right now. 
cool. Just, just, you know, casually glitching through the map. No big deal. I know you're working hard on getting all these bugs fixed, Ram, and you'll get there eventually. I believe in you. Um, but basically, here's the breakdown. Everything down here is only going to be common and uncommon deposits. Uh, from what I've seen, there is no uh, sparkling deposits down here. It's only the glinting and then the commons. So. But then once you get up to the next area, there's going to be a, not as many common trees and ore deposits. Um, but primarily there is a... Well, no, there kind of is. But this is where all the rare stuff is in this area right here. Um, we're still waiting to get the rest of the map unlocked, unfortunately, but um, this is where all the rare stuff is. So I found rare things here, rare things over here, over here, down here, also right here, and here. And I'm now swinging down this side of the path because there will be some rare stuff down here as well. Haha, <laughs> you can't get me because you're stupid. So I'm just going to fly down here to show you the last um, nodes on this part of the cycle that I do. Ooh, don't get too high. Alright, there will be a couple of common trees right at the top of this hilly grassy area. Um, and I just learned this today because I didn't know this was here. But there's actually another sparkling ore deposit right behind this broken ruin right here. And I think that person might have just claimed this tree. Nope, it's here. Yeah. Here's the other sparkling tree that's right in this spot. Um, and that's primarily it as far as what we have for the unlocked areas of the map. I'm sure I probably missed a few. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, I know exactly where I missed one, so I'll show you where those are now. I'm going to teleport back up here um, to the upper research area. And then we're going to drop down, because I know for a fact that I missed a couple. Um, from this position, we're just going to jump back down over the side of this mountain over here. And then down to here. This little encampment has a lovely golden tree right in this spot. And then there's an ore deposit around here somewhere, I think. There it is. Then there's another sparkling ore right here. Um, are there any more? Have I left any out? It's hard to say. Yeah. Oh, that's common. Never mind. That's a common tree. Um, so, likewise... Just how there are the uncommon um, nodes that give you the extra sky dew in here. All of these quests and all of these mm, events give sky dew. But then up in this higher tier zone, all of these events give sky seeds. So do the sky seed nodes if you're missing sky seeds. Do the sky dew nodes if you're missing sky dew. And that's, uh, that's it. That's the cycle. That's how you go through and get all this, this crap together. <sighs> Did I miss any? I don't think so. I think I actually almost have everything. I think I, I pretty much walked through the entire zone with what's available. And obviously, I'll eventually need to update this when they actually unlock more of the map. Or maybe I'll just do a more comprehensive video series eventually of just each section so like maybe i'll do one where i just go through and wipe out every single harvesting node on this side just so we can see how much uh you actually get in the way of resources from it and then i'll do one of these up here that'd be pretty fun i think but um yeah that's about it I hope you found that helpful. I'm sorry that took a little bit longer than I had anticipated. But uh, yeah, this is just one of my random alt characters that I haven't harvested on yet today. So that was the only way that I could actually show you guys where everything is. Because um, on my main, I have everything cleared out. So yeah, good luck. Aim for your perfect shots. Harvest faster. And um, oh yeah, one last thing. 
that you should be aware of if you haven't realized this yet while harvesting. One-handed pickaxe, even when you get a perfect, only does half damage. So that was a perfect that did half damage right there. If you do two-handed and you get a perfect, the whole the whole full damage goes in and you can really slam through the rock a lot faster. So, two-handed allows you to do full damage, one-handed is only half damage. This can be beneficial if you happen to be in combat and you're also mining in combat or something, but honestly, uh, you're probably better off if you just dispatch any enemies nearby before you try to harvest too much. All right. Take it easy. Oh, I can't. I used to be able to do like a... Oh, that was the other game that I could do a heart on. That's okay. It's not really a heart, but ah, that's kind of like a heart. Yeah. I'm going to go with that. 